Hi friends, I'm Debbie. I'm with The Stitching Post in Sisters, Oregon, and I've got a really fun project today. I have to say I'm really excited about this one. It is the Lone Star Quilted Tote. Fun little handle, cute back on this one. So I love the Lone Star quilts. It's been my favorite. It was one that my grandmother made and I always treasured that one. Wanted to try it, but I was intimidated. So I thought, let's try a smaller version, put the star on a tote and we'll give it a shot. And I love the way it came out. So the way this one is done is with English paper piecing. And what you need for that, we sell these in the shop, is um, your one inch diamonds. And this is a 45 degree angle, so it's an eight point star. And the way paper pieces are measured, it's one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. So this is a one inch, 45 degree, eight point star. You need 72 diamonds to put together the star that I'm going to show you today. And um, so we sell these packets. The thing that's really nice about these, you can reuse them multiple times. I've used some like I think up to six or seven times at least, if not more. Um, I glue base and so the Soline glue pen comes in perfectly handy for that. Um, so what you want to do is make half a star at a time and this is kind of what it looks like when you have your first half done. So you're going to put together the four pieces in the center. You will stitch those together. Add your second row. So there's going to be eight on this one. And then add the third row, the fourth row, and the fifth row. And then once you have the two halves completed, this is when you want to put your star together. And so you simply put those right sides together and clip it. I like stitching from the center to the outside on each piece. So it'll be two, you know, two separate stitches. That gives you a really nice seam down the center of your star. Okay, once you have stitched your two sides together, you're ready to um, finish the back of it. And I like to trim off some of these little tails just so there's not so much bulk and especially right, right around the center. I trim those down. Once I get everything trimmed and um, finished, I will, I'll show you. Then I take it over to the ironing board. Then you're ready to remove your paper pieces. So with Eng English paper piecing, as you know, once you've stitched around all four sides, you can remove those pieces. It makes it so much easier to add your second, third, fourth row, so on. So then you're just gonna take out the pieces that remain, which is right down the center and your outsides. But I wanna show you what I do on the outsides because you have these little tails that are sticking out. So what I do is remove um, the paper on these. And then I take my glue pen and I just put a little bit of glue just to, to glue that raw edge down, stick that down. And for these tails, I put a little, little bit of glue, fold that over and make sure that it's down nice and tight. For the tips, if you wanna get a really sharp point, what you want to do is put some glue right there. I fold it over and then I will take it over to this side and just trim that tail off. And that gives you a nice sharp point. All right, so you're just gonna continue to glue those all the way around for the tails that are sticking out opposite. You know, just, just give it a little glue and um, those will be hidden underneath. So you'll have a nice finished 
edge with a sharp point on it. Once you have your star finished um, with all your, your little raw edges glued under, you're ready to applique it to your background fabric for the front of your tote, which I've already done on this. So for this one, I centered it. I took my background fabric, folded it in half, and then turned it the other way, folded it in half this way, and then laid my star on top. And you can find right where the center of the star is lines up with these folds. So it made it nice and easy. I pinned it on and then just did a little applique stitch all the way around. Then you are ready to put your lines on for hand quilting uh, or finishing. I did a long running stitch and what I found was very helpful was to take my ruler and I lined it up along the edge of the, the star at a quarter inch just use a regular pencil and draw my line. And this makes it so easy to have nice straight lines for quilting. You know, you can do any stitch that, or any design that you want. I chose just to do some straight lines around the stars. And um, this gave me a nice line to follow. It doesn't show up once you have everything stitched makes it so easy and you just continue around um, on my the bag that I showed you earlier I did a quarter inch uh, lines and so you just mark it keep marking it all right you're gonna have all of your lines finished on there and then you are ready to start your hand stitching quilting all right, and so you're going to make your quilt sandwich. I use just some plain muslin on the back and then put my batting and then my star face up, the background fabric and star. And again, like I said, all of your lines would be drawn on here so you're ready to stitch. And then I like using just a large embroidery hoop. So I can sit on my couch at night while we're watching TV or sit out on the porch in the morning with a cup of coffee. Um, and I, people think I'm crazy, but I love hand stitching and I love English paper piecing. So, all right, so there you are. There you have it. You're all ready to take it over and do your hand stitching. I did want to show you one other option. Um, so if you want to do something really scrappy, this one, you know, I'm not using the same fabrics on each row. It's just, this is our speckled fabric. Just doing something very scrappy where you can, you know, just go to town with using all those little leftover pieces. This one, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, but I love the way it looks and I thought how fun would it be to take a denim shirt so a little bit different than the bag and put this on the back of a denim shirt or you know you could do it on a sweatshirt but how cute is that I absolutely love the way this looks and fun so the options are endless Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. So please give us a like on this video and make sure you're following us on YouTube. I'd also like to suggest that you head over to thestitchandpost.com and make sure you subscribe to our newsletter. Uh, we have some great projects coming up and I don't want you to miss anything fun. Thanks again and enjoy your stitching.